Well, welcome YouTube and everybody from Wan Ho Facebook group. This was a locket that I tried to print for my daughter's friend. She wanted me to print her a 3D thing. Um, obviously a little toy thing that we would do something with maybe later, like resin it or something, I don't know. But anyways, so this is how I print it, which, you know, is pretty much how I expect it. 100 um, on the 100 um, layers um, but this is the odd part see see that nice little shape right in the center not supposed to be like that that's supposed to be a dome I think she was simulating a stone I don't know but and if you see in there it's a full dome the problem is it looks like this the actual filament ripped. Um, it was right at the um, end of the printing. It actually had built a pile of stuff up and wasn't actually all the way through, but whenever I tried to pull that off... Um, that just pulled the the FEP sheet up right there, and no matter what I did, I, I I really bunged it up. But you can see where this is actually. If I get an angle, you can see that the plastic was bonded to the sheet pretty good. I don't know if you can see that or not. You can kind of see how this comes up. And I tried to get it off the sheet, and it messed it up. So it's like great. I ruined my sheet, now what? Well, I was thinking I have, luckily, a sheet that was sent to me. You can't really see it in the bag because it is clear, but it is a sheet. This was with my Duplicator 7, so Wanho is kind enough that whenever they send this beastie out the door, they give you a second sheet. And I started thinking, I better get online and find some place to order some sheets. Because obviously, if I'm, this is going to happen occasionally, I'm going to have to have some backups. Consumables, it happens. And what came in the mail today, without me even knowing, look at this. I got me a little package from FEP Shop. Now, what's cool is when I needed it, it came. If FEP shop can set up delivery so that every time my sheet <laughs> gets destroyed, they send me one in the mail that day when I go to the mailbox, that would be awesome. I don't know how kind of ESP or time travel that's going to take. But, um, yeah, so they sent it to me straight from the Netherlands. There it is. Whoops, get that post date. Look at that, Netherlands. I was like, woohoo, that is awesome. FEPshop.com. Um, yes, that's my address. If you want to send me things, feel free. Um, we will review them, talk about them, whatever. Um, make sure they're in good taste. I do have children. So anyways, um, I figured I should open this. But I started to open it, and then I realized I should wait for a chance to sit down and do a video so i am going to take this out and then we'll get it installed the new sheet onto the print bed here and uh, we'll work with that for a few days we'll see how that goes it'd be awesome so again thank you very much um, to fepshop.com for sending this out to me right when i needed it the most All right, I'm back real quick here. I just wanted to give you a quick brief update. Um, I'm assuming this is sent specifically for the Wanho size for the Duplicator 7. And um, if anybody else is out there and they want to know, there it is. 190 by 130 millimeters. FEPshop.com. One millimeter is, or I should say, sorry, 0.1 millimeter is the thickness on this. All right. So again, thank you to the FEP shop. And um, we'll follow up with this video and uh, see how it lasts. Thank you.